Hello, my dear kids. Very good evening. This is Sundar Ravidhanathan here. Hey guys, how's everybody? Welcome, welcome to yet another the final Pariksha session because today we're going to deal with uh, the guaranteed five markers. Right? So you all know that you have one marker, two marker and five mark questions. Today we will deal with uh, uh, five markers. I have handpicked a lot of questions from your previous year's question papers. So this, these are probable questions. So, uh, you know, I'm sure you're going to, uh, you know, get a lot of uh, benefit from the session, right? Hi, Varshini. Hi, Arvind. Hope all you guys are doing good. Yeah, yeah, aren't you? <clears throat> Lovely. Hi, Reena. Thank you so much. <clears throat> all right, let's move on slowly. Hi, Srivatsan. All right. So, guys, a quick uh, word about Vedantu Young Wonders. This channel is for 6th, 7th and 8th grade students. Typically, what do we do? We take care of you from both academic as well as non-academic per se. Academically, math, science, social and English grammar or our subjects of focus. And non-academically, we have multiple series happening, guys. Uh, you know, I'm sure you're going to love it. Uh, we have series on science, like we call it as how does it work, where we explain the, you know, functioning of different, different equipment. We also have a series on general knowledge. Weekly, we do it. We have a do's and don'ts of mathematics series where we speak about the silly mistakes that you commit. So how to avoid it. We also have a series on foundation. I'm sure you are loving. Uh, you are loving it. Today, Sail Sir has conducted a Maha Menti for one hour, right? Yeah. So, guys, uh, that's the channel. It's a bouquet of offerings. Make use of it because I'm sure you're going to benefit. We all are working tediously only for all of you. So, do subscribe to the channel. Don't forget it. All right? Okay. Praveen Kumar. No, beta. See, guys, uh, one thing. Because I don't want to, rest, you know, inform everyone that I'm not ignoring, I'm not ignoring. It's very essential that you guys understand that we don't, we will never ignore anyone. All right, we would have just missed your chats. Chat logs keep scrolling. Okay, so don't take us wrong. Yeah, most of the students who have been with us, they know it really well. So one quick piece of information for all of you. Hi, Shushravya, how are you? Oh. Exam start over yeah. here. Awesome. All the best, Purnima. Okay, guys. One very interesting and important thing. So, you know, once this Pariksha is over, next, we, we will be moving towards the summer camp in March. We hardly have another 10 days, right? 10, 15 days. So, for the summer camp, uh, it will be kind of one and a half to two month long, wonderful uh, period. One month, minimum one to one and a half months. We want your inputs on what are the different series that we can launch. We have already given you a list in this particular URL. So go to this website. Not now. You can please note it down. Go to this website. Guys, uh, the more responses we get, we will choose to decide whether to go for that or not. Okay. So please actively participate. Respond. Find out what are the ones that would interest you and choose them. You can choose as many as you want. All right, if there are 10, 15 offerings, so if you want all 15, you can choose them. If you want to say, I want only four, five of them, choose them. If you say, I want only two of them, choose them. Go ahead. This is the URL website for the same. tinyurl.com slash Vedantu Young Wonders. V-Y-W plan. What is our plan for summer? Cool? Lovely. So guys, uh, in case you want to learn from us directly, you all know that we have a lovely subscription called Vedantu Young Wonders. Okay, so we have a 50% off on that. It's still going on, guys. Make use of it because the subscription, all right, it has uh, uh, you know, so many features. Unlimited live classes, unlimited doubt-solving inside sessions, uh, periodical tests and assignments. You have uh, 
uh, instant replays, interactive replays, 5,000 plus topic wise, chapter wise courses, lot of features guys, make use of it, okay? How much are you paying? 2.5 rupees per class. Would you believe that? So now that is the discount that we are running now. So guys, there is a, a you know, in your description box, there will be a, a link which will be pinned now. Please go to that link and ensure you look at the features and then enroll yourself into the subscription if you want to. All right, it's a great opportunity. You're getting a very good discount as well. Make use of it. Now, guys, are you ready? Let us jump in. Yes, Reena, Menti is very much there, beta. No, no, guys, summer camp is completely free. Summer camp is completely free, I repeat. We are just getting your suggestions on what all series we can launch during summer camp. It is totally free, okay? By the way, at Vedantu Young Wonders, everything is free. Okay? We don't charge you for anything. This is a central Vedantuka subscription. All right, what I'm what what is going to be pinned in your description box? Yeah, Gita Anjali. You can go ahead. Note down this coupon code SRPRO. The link will be pinned to your description. Okay, guys, question number one. It's time. So state the main principles of Ashoka's Dhamma. Dharma, right? So what are the main principles of Ashoka? Can you tell me? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, guys. All these are five markers. So let's move fast. Hi, Srijita. Guys, main principle. There are some five, six principles of Ashoka, frankly. So I, I want you guys five marker, right? So five principles minimum you should list. What are the five? Give gifts to Brahmins and uh, no. Spread peace. Very good. Number one, Reena. Awesome. Usha, no animal sacrifice. Exactly. Number two, don't kill anyone. Yeah, it is aligned moreover. Non-violence. Okay. Respect other religions. Beautiful. Guys, awesome, awesome. You guys are on the right track. Number one, be very peaceful. Be very tolerant and be live in harmony. Live you know, including everyone. It's called inclusive life li lifestyle. We need to include everyone. Don't keep people, you know, don't get away from people. Number two, non-violence. Follow ahimsa. Don't kill anything. Number three, respect for people and other religions. Number four, be very honest and generous. And number five, people should, children should obey elders and elders should understand children. Clear? So these are five five principles I have listed here. Five main principles of Ashoka's Dhamma. Guys, are you clear with this? Give me a yo. Come on, come on, come on. Awesome. So these are the five principles of Ashoka's Dhamma. Moving on. What was Arikamedu? Can you write a short note on it? Arikamedu. What was it? Arikamedu was, was it a place? If so, what? Guys, waiting for your responses. Yeah, Tapas, partly correct. Getting closer. Arikamedu is a part. Manesh, no. It's a place, Usha, yes. Yes, viral videos has come back. Sir, it is an archaeological site. Guys, near, you know, near Tamil Nadu, there is a place called Puducherry. It's a union territory. All right, Pondicherry as you call it, right? That. There, there is a place called as Arikamedu, which is a typically, an, uh, you know, exca excavation site, archaeological site. Uh, they, you know, understood that it, it was a great trading center. It was a main center for beads. We know beads, right? Look here. So, Arikamedu Nidar Pondicherry, um, important archaeological site, excavated in 1940s by British archaeologist Sir Mortimer Wheeler. 
who is at Mortimer Villa Coastal Trading Center. All right, where ships came undocked, you know, I mean, unloaded all the goods. All right, so it was an important bead making center. We all know beads, right, for garlands, bead making center. All right, and uh, it had a lot of trade with the Roman Empire. So they, you know, discovered, excavated textiles, beads, semi precious stones, glass shell mangles, a lot of things from that place. And it also had, uh, you know, indications that there were imports happening like wine as well as olive oil. We got them from different places, including Rome. So, Arikamado excavations, you know, archaeological site. Uh, excavated by 1940s by Mortimer Wheeler and uh, they found out that it's a great coastal trading center. Ships came in, a lot of ships from other countries came in, unloaded goods here. Yeah, so they also understood it's a great bead making center. Right, very prosperous settlement as well. And they were also importing a lot of stuff. And they had great ties with the Roman Empire. So are you clear with the question number two guys? I'm not going to do a recap. So be very clear. One question after question. Be very thorough. Are you guys clear? Give me a yo. Guys, this is grade six. All right. In case you guys are getting confused on sir, grade six should happen only on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, we are shuffling certain things based on number of chapters. Okay. So watch out on uh, the schedule. Every day we post the schedule, right? So please look at the schedule and participate accordingly. Everyone is saying a yo. Awesome. Great. So two things. Ashoka's Dhamma and about Arikamedo we have done. Question number three. I'm sure you're going to love this question. Why is Earth called as a unique planet? Earth is called as a unique planet. Why guys? Come on, come on, come on. better all right so obviously guys needless to say the first point i completely agree earth is the only planet as of now which supports life to our knowledge we don't know there might be many but for our you know to our knowledge and research we found ours is the only planet that supports life right this is the only planet which has the adequate congenial friendly temperature for life to sustain it's neither too hot, too cold. So it has water, which is absolutely essential for the survival of living things. Correct? So no other planet as of now uh, has water. All right. They are saying that a few planets have ice, trails of ice, traces of ice, but nothing proven as of now. Right? So then oxygen, which is super essential for life. All right. To be there is found only on Earth now, though in small amounts. Compared to nitrogen, we have less of oxygen, right? But still, that is more than enough for us to survive. So, ozone layer typically is the layer which prevents all the harmful rays, all right, from sun coming in and affecting the living things, the biosphere of the Earth. So, number one, conditions favorable for life is there. Number two, right temperature, congenial temperature is there. Number three, water is there. Number four, oxygen is there. Number five, ozone layer is there. So these are five super important reasons why Earth is called as a unique planet. Clear guys, all of you? Akshara, as of now, it's not proven. We don't know if we can live anywhere else. But as of now, no. There might be some places, but see guys, this, uh, you know, right, there are millions of galaxies. Ours is just one. Great. Menti will start. We are in question number four. Just two more questions. We are done. So Menti, of course. Okay. So guys, do you think India is the right country where we can really, truly claim unity in diversity? Right? And what do you think? Why Nehru said this? 
Nehru spoke about or used this term unity and diversity in his book Discovery of India. Why do you think he said that? Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. I want you to speak this out. What is unity and diversity? Does it really apply for India? And why do you think Nehru said that? Jawaharlal Nehru. Toka Bani. Uh, Menti is a quiz. A quizzing platform. We conduct quizzes after every session. So once I am done with one more, two more questions, I will conduct a live interactive quiz in another website called as menti.com. So YouTube, as of now, we can't conduct live quizzes, right? So that is the reason we go to another website. I'll show you. Uh, so be ready. Divya Sri, all the points are important because I have given you only points which are enough and a minimum for you to gather all five marks. If you write less than that, chances of you getting five marks is very less. Sir, how many years will it take for planet Earth to get destroyed? As of now, we are not able to calculate the life of the Earth. How many more years it will survive? Not really. This is my answer, NCR Rao. If at all someone is giving you, it is not a proven uh, number. So don't worry about it. All right. So guys, India, if you look at it, there are two different, diversity means what? Differences, different, different things are there. India has different types of diversities. One is geographically also we are diverse. Correct. Culturally also we are diverse. Correct. So geographically, if you look at it, uh, we have one side, if you go to Kashmir or so, it is so cold. You go to this side, uh, oh, Rajasthan or you go to other places, it is very extreme, you know, hot. All right. And if you go towards this side, you know, towards the south, it is kind of moderate. So uh, different types of vegetation, different types of forests, different types of, uh, you know, deserts are there. So we have geographical diversity, number one. Cultural diversity, number two, different types of people who speak different types of languages, who practice different types of customs and culture. All goof-ups are happening. Still, India is a great and the greatest country, one of the greatest countries to live in. No one can deny this fact, guys. Okay? So be proud on this fact. You can't get this anywhere else. Now, there are a few countries. Uh, who are trying to be like India, but India is born uh, diverse. That's how I would put it. Okay, so guys, are you clear with this? Geographical and cultural diversity. Give me a yo, come on. Let me move on to question number five. Mandeep Kaur, what's your doubt? Here we go. All right. So despite why Nehru said, spoke about this, despite all diversities, we are still patriotic. We love India. Whenever I take or speak about this, I mean it. It's one of the best country. I did not say this. Why should I say this? Because I want to say this. That's the point. All right. So whenever natural disasters come, we have an earthquake in Gujarat way back. Everyone in the country came in. Where we have a war in Kar Kargil by our army, entire country will go, come together. So that there is unity in diversity. Clear? Question number five. Okay, guys. So what were the main effects of the changing environment? Env environment is changing, right? And how is it affecting people who do cattle rearing, rearing of animals and other activities? hunters, rearing of, you know, cattle uh, rearers, etc. All right, you call it as nomads, right? How does it affect? How does the environmental changes affect people who are involved in rearing of animals and related activities? Come on, come on, come on. Try it, try it, try it. Okay, study is saying grassland, sir. Raka, don't ask. Just put your doubt. Rearing. Rearing is, uh, taking care of domestic animals, all right, by all means, helping them live in your, under your protection, 
you provide them all food etc all right uh, pasture etc for different reasons could be for milk could be for uh, wool could be for anything okay so guys about 12000 years ago there were major climatic changes all right and the climate became a little warm because of this change right lot of grasslands started coming animals which depended on grasslands they started coming in greater numbers evolving in greater numbers what are, what kind of animals goat antelope sheep cattle etc those who hunted them all right earlier you know what they started doing they started following the animals because animals have this habit of going to places where grasslands are there so these hunters what they do they started following animals with that you can know where exactly grasslands will be there where exactly will be rain where exactly will be water etc all right Yeah. Biosika. So this helped people to start thinking ahead. Why can't we instead of killing these, hunting these animals, why can't we kind of allow them to live, take them under our protection and make use of them? You call it as rearing. Right? Fishing was also it also became an important activity. So, guys, this is the kind of changes in the environment which helped these kind of professions to evolve herders from hunters to gatherers and herders right people who rear animals cattle etc i say so guys the final question before i jump are, are you clear with this question how the changing environment almost what 12000 years ago there are certain changes in the environment right the environment became warm because of which grasslands started coming in and as a result of which we saw huge number of animals related to that condition started coming so people instead of hunting they started understanding that we should in blindly instead of killing these animals we should also make use of them <clears throat> and yes till now meat so, you know, making use of animal for meat is always there. But still, apart from that, they started exploring other ways to mutually benefit, you know, uh, make use of the animals as well. Okay, coming back. Arvind saying, we are discussing guaranteed five markers for your grade. I have picked these questions from your previous year's question papers. So, these questions do matter. Right. So, difference between planet and a star, major differences. Planets do not have their own light. Star has its own light and heat actually. So, planet, right. They receive heat and light from the sun. Stars have their own heat and light. Example, for our planet, Earth. Star of the Earth is sun. So, Earth receives all the heat and light from the sun. We all know that. Correct? Planets do not twinkle because they don't have their own light. But, however, stars emit huge flames. Huge flames. Right? And a great amount of heat and light. And there are, as of now, what we have found is there are eight major planets leaving Pluto in our galaxy. And uh, stars, there are millions of stars in the galaxy. So, major heat and light not present in a planet, star has its own heat and light. Alright, so because of which planets are not that shiny, they always emit the light even uh, by the star. But star, they twinkle because they emit a lot of, you know, light and heat. So, eight planets, billions of stars. So, guys, are you clear? Shall we jump into a menti? So these are, I have taken, instead of five, I have taken six. Guaranteed questions for all of you. Okay. Right. 
So guys, let us move into a menti quest now. So the quest for today's menti, I want all of you, let's be quick. I want you to open www.menti.com. -E go to your browser, go to the website menti.com, M-E-N-T-I, menti.com. Dhruv, <clears throat> they are not differences, so I didn't uh, highlight that. Of course, both of them have gases. All right, so once you go to menti.com, it will say, please enter the code. So, what is the code? I'll tell you the code, note it down. The code for today's menti is 7025203. 7025203. Faster guys, come on. Seven zero two five two zero three. Come on, come on, come on, make it fast as fast as possible. Let me see. All right, guys, come on, come on, come on. Refreshing the page now. 15 more seconds. First question will hit your screens. Purvi, I have all you guys. So hopefully Corona will never come, yeah? Divya Shri. Yeah. My focus was on uh, biology, guys. One of my favorite subjects. I, I love computer science as well. I was a rank holder. Guys, let's start the question. Here it comes. On your screens, first question. Come on, be ready. The capital of Pallavas in the south, in the south was what? Tanjavur, Tiruchi, Arikamedu, Kanjipuram. Capital of Pallavas. Time is up. How many of you chose option D? Mm, 49 of you. It's a mix. Kanchipuram, guys. Kanchipuram was the capital of the Pallavas. It's near Chennai, actually. So, Vaiba, Aditya, Optimus, Shivam, and Hiraja. Top 5. Hirdija, right? Okay. Swati, Joanna, Aya, Chinna, and Kush. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question number two. Guys, ready? Here we go. And the question is, dash was used to make tools and parts. Which material? 
something. Food, wood, mud, both one and two. <clears throat> Tools and huts. Simple one. There is no way you guys are going to miss this. Wood, of course it is wood. Wood was used to make tools, sharp tools and the huts as well. Great, even, even today in uh, rural areas, if you go, you see a lot of houses with the wood, right? Made of wood. Aditya. Aditya, Swati, Kush, Anya and Rishu, top five. Drow, Abel, Shivam, Harvinder, and Amin. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question number 3. 4 more to go. Be ready. Here we go. So what is the third question? Third question is providing crops with water. Giving water to crops is called what? Harvesting, watering, irrigation, none of the above. What is it called guys? Providing crops with water. Come on. Yatri, 8th. 8th is the next session will be 8th. Uh, I mean today. Uh, I mean tomorrow. Providing crops with water was called, it's called as irrigation. Even today, irrigating means what? Irrigate the fields means provide water to the fields. 65 of you got this, right? And four questions are done. We see Aditya at the top. Wow. Big difference, big lead. Followed by Abel, Shivam, uh, Harvinder, and Amim. Top five. Rishu, Jankuk. Oh, Jankuk. Devya Sri, Vadansh, Vaidansh, right? Vaidansh and Kush. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, guys, what? Question number five now. Just four. I'm sorry. Question number four. Here it comes on your screens. Now. 7025203. Don't worry, guys, we will sort this. Okay. Here we go. Question number four on your screens. Hi, Ash. Geoid. Guys, geoid means what? Geoid means earth like shape, round shape, elli elliptical shape. None of these. If you know what is geo, you will be able to answer this. Yeah, I think everyone is answering it correctly. Understandably so. So geoid means earth-like shape. Most of you got it right. Superb guys, superb. So four questions are done. We have another three more questions to go. Aditya at the top, followed by Shivam, Amim, Abel, Vaidan, top five, Devya Sri, Men, Sri Anj, Karthik and Sri Jita, bottom half, six to ten. Question number five, just two more to go, guys, come on, time to gear up. Hi, Arjun Dokhale. Why did the British think that they can divide the Indians very easily? Why? Because we have different backgrounds. All right. Because Indians are, hey, love each other. Because Indians hate, hated each other. None of them. Why do you think British thought we can divide this and capture this country very easily? How many of you chose option A? Wow. They thought that what? What a diverse country. Every, every, the country, entire country is kind of divided into pockets of different religions, different languages, etc. So it's very easy to divide them. 
but they were wrong that was unity in diversity right Aditya, still at the top, followed by Abel, Shivam, Vaidansh and Divya Shri. Top 5. Guys, I don't see the leaderboard shuffling much. Men, Shriyan, Shivan, Eruption and Kush. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guys, question number 6. Just one more to go after this. Question number 6. On your screens now. Preeti, it's fine. Ebony, guys. Ebony, all of you know Ebony, right? Yeah. That, those trees, they are grown in which type of forest? Coniferous, tropical thorn forest, tropical rainforest, deciduous. Come on, guys. Sir is on leave, guys. So that is the reason. He'll be there on and off for some time, another 10-15 days. Tropical rainforest. 46 of you got this bang on. Great job. Keep it up. So Aditya. Oh no, Aditya went down. Shivam is at the top now. Shivam, Divya Sri, Man, Sri Ants, and Eruption. Top 5. Go Shaditya, Praveel, Amim and Kartika. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the final question for the session. The guaranteed 5 markers session. Here it comes. What is the final question? I am going to speak about another question. This question is also going to be about a tree. Let us see. Come on, come on, come on. Time up. So guys, Sincona requires a lot of rain. Sincona trees. Right? So they grow or they are found in areas which have more than 100 centimeters of rainfall. Very huge. So, 49 of you got this right. Who's going to win? Was it Shivam? Looks like... Guys, I think Divya Shri is going to win. Wow, what a twist. Divya Shri, great job done. Congratulations. Shriyans, man. Shivam. Eruption. Top 5. Great job, Kush. Who is that? Not able to see. Armin, Blue Witch, TVS. Great job, guys. Great job. Congratulations, all of you in the leaderboard. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the session today. Once again, just, you know, please note down this URL. I want all of you to share your thoughts on what kind of series you would want. Choose as many as you want. All right. So, but... Uh, we would always look at your priorities, top five or so on. So please choose, but feel free to choose all as many as you want. We would want to know. And if you have anything else, choose other. I will choose the same. There is an option called other. You can choose the other option and type whatever you want as well. Don't forget, guys. And in case you have already given an entry, you want to put one more entry, you can put one more as well. Okay? So guys, looking forward to lovely responses, so many. And pull in your friends also, guys. Pull in your friends, you know, uh, everyone who would want to watch, make use of the summer camp of Vedantu Young Wonders to participate, type in their thoughts as well. Lovely guys, lovely interacting guys. At 8 p.m. today, we have a lovely session on English Pariksha. Join me at 8 p.m. without fail. 8 p.m. English Pariksha is there. Waiting for all of you. Three very, very interesting stories followed by a quiz. Ready? Superb. So guys, lovely interacting with all of you. 
I will meet you guys again at 8 p.m. Until then, this is bye bye from Sundar Ravindranath and take care, guys. <clears throat>